Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you guys how you can spawn a muzzle flash in your game when you fire your weapon. Because as of right now when we shoot it's simply just a projectile coming out of the end and it doesn't look that realistic. In most weapons you'll find you have like a little flame that comes out of the end and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. And we're also going to be showing you how you can make it spawn at the end of your rifle as opposed to the middle we're going to be using sockets it's a really cool and interesting setup and I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as I do so what we're going to be doing um, before we do start the video is we're actually going to be using a particle system from the infinity blade effects pack now if you guys haven't got that already go over to the marketplace and then search for infinity blade effects it's this one here that I've got and pretty much all that we're gonna do is simply add it to our project and then just add it to your FPS project wherever that may be now I've already set that up already um, it may take you guys a little while to do it just a couple of minutes uh, but once you have done that we can get into adding in the, uh, the projectile for it not the projectile but the particle effect now I'm going to quickly show you the muzzle effect that we're using so if I type in muzzle searching that you can see that I've got this uh, little muzzle flash here for called chicken master for whatever reason but it's a muzzle flash nonetheless um, so you can't really see it so much here let me drag it in one more time you can see it it's a couple of sparks and it looks quite nice but anyway without further ado let's go ahead and show you how you can get it onto your weapon when you fire. Now I want to hold this as part of my weapon blueprint as that's pretty much where all of the firing stuff is handled, that's where it spawns the projectile so it just makes a lot of sense to do it all from there as well. So that way every time you call the fire projectile or the fire function that we created earlier on it's also going to spawn that muzzle flash in. Now for me my weapon underscore base blueprint is under, side, un, in, uh, under blueprints and then weapons and then open it up from there we're just going to add it in and we're going to show you how to do it so open it up inside of here what we're going to be doing is essentially essentially spawning it at a socket now as of right now we do have a socket for the muzzle uh, that we created already if you don't make sure you do create one if you've been following the series you will have one at the very end of your rifle so go over to the skeletal view for our skeletal mesh for this rifle and then what I want to quickly do before I do add the blueprint side of things, I'm going to add a preview mesh to my muzzle real quick. And I'm just going to simply type in muzzle and I'm going to find this little muzzle flash static mesh that I've got here. And I just want to check to make sure that it's coming out at the right rotation. So it's coming out at the end of the muzzle and that looks good. Now don't worry so much about the size of it for now as that's not too important as we're going to be showing you guys how you can play around with that later on but for now that looks all good. You can leave it there because we are not going to see the preview message, uh, preview stuff. You can see here it's preview only and will not carry on to your game. So having said that with that done head over to your blueprint and then from here what we're going to be doing is pretty much spawning an emitter an emitter at a location. The emitter template should be the muzzle flash, so type in muzzle, and the one that you're after here is the second one, muzzle flash underscore one, and then what it's asking us for is a location and a rotation. Now we need to get this from the character because right now we don't really have a reference to the weapon and to get access to that weapon we need to cast to the character. So between spawn to emitter and between the set we're simply going to cast to the third person character or whatever you got it named to and then as the object wildcard set that to get player character and then over here as third person character we are simply going to get a reference to equipped weapon which is the weapon that it spawned in at the start of the match so get that and then from here we need to get a reference to the mesh so get mesh uh, or what we could do is get socket location and then that way if we choose the one with the little skeletal mesh on the end that's going to allow us to choose a socket name from that skeletal mesh and then just hook it up to the location just like this. So if we set the socket name now to what we had it for for the muzzle which simply if we check and go over to our skeletal view should simply just be muzzle. So let's try that. 
So if we drop this in here, muzzle, and then if we compile this, hopefully what it should do is spawn in the muzzle. Now, bear in mind, this is way too big at the moment. It's not too much of an issue as we can quite easily fix that. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is pretty much just set the scale of this in blueprints. So what we're gonna do is set scale and the one that we're after is the world scale 3D over here. And what this is going to do is it's just going to change it relative to the default value. So let's say you want it to be half of the size it is at the moment. We would set this to 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and then press play. And you can see it's a little bit smaller, but it's still too big. So the size that I find works best for me is generally going to be 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. If we hit play now, you can see it looks a little bit better and we've got our little muzzle flash. Now, bear in mind, it's not the best looking muzzle flash that we've got here, and it also seems to be going sideways uh, when we do have it firing this way. So what we need to do is we need to make sure it gets the rotation of the socket as well, because at the moment it's only getting the location, but it's not the best looking muzzle flash, but it's gonna do for what we're doing now. So what I'm gonna do after it sets the world scale, I am going to get the rotation and I'm going to pretty much just set that as well. So once again, I'm going to drag out skeletal mesh and I'm going to type in get socket rotation and then I'm going to hook this up to rotation and then just give this the name muzzle. If I compile this now, regardless of which way I'm facing, the muzzle flash is always going to be facing forwards, which is all good. And that just makes things look a little bit cleaner and a little bit tidier but most importantly we have got our muzzle flash in and it looks pretty dope so that is pretty much everything for the muzzle flash one last change that I wanted to make to the project was a little mistake I made in the blueprints in one of the last videos where I did some you know ammo stuff so what I'm gonna do is simply go inside of here and not inside of here sorry inside of my third person character where we're doing all of the ammo stuff and I want to make one quick change. So if we can find our ammo stuff, wherever that may be, so that should be for our firing stuff, if we can find it, where is it, whoops. So primary fire, um, the one that we're looking for is we want to see and check to see if it's more than zero rather than one, otherwise the ammo is going to count down to one. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about real quick. So as soon as my engine unfreezes, I can show you that. So what I'm going to do quickly, Pause the video, let the engine un unfreeze, and then I'll show you exactly what we're talking about. Okay, so it's all good there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it to one, which was where it was before, press play, and you're gonna see when I shoot, when it gets all the way down to an empty bullet, while not being able to fire anymore, an empty clip, it's gonna stop at one. So what we need to do is change this to zero, just over at the first branching node here, and then press play. And then if I keep on firing and I get myself all the way down to being empty, it should stop at zero and that's much better. Anyway, that is pretty much everything for this video, guys. I hope you guys are really starting to see your first person project come to life. Once again, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.